Matter cycles in an ecosystem. Now, the three main matter cycles we'll talk about are uh, water, carbon, and nitrogen. There are others. Uh, I, if you notice, I have a uh, crash course uh, covering, let uh, Hank Green cover some of the other uh, matter cycles. But we'll just stick to the big three for this lecture. Uh, first one up, water cycle. You probably studied in elementary school, so we won't go into it in too much detail. Um, the, you know, the Geological Society uh, on this screen has all the many different ways that water exchanges, um, but we'll focus mostly on just, you know, evaporation from the ocean, condensation to clouds, precipitation, and runoff. Uh, and then we spend some time talking about groundwater flow because it is becoming such a big issue uh, that our, our groundwater levels have dropped um, considerably, huge concern. And with climate change and, and changing weather patterns, it's only going to get worse, so we have to find solutions. Uh, carbon cycle, we talk a lot about this lately. Uh, photosynthesis, you know, carbon dioxide in the air and, and water being assimilated into new organic compounds with plants. Um, but, you know, if you look at the rest of the cycle, we've got our consumers eating our producers and consumers eating other consumers. So food chains and food webs passing that, that material on, that carbon. Uh, but at the very bottom of the screen, we also stop and give us a chance to talk about fossil fuels, um, how they're created, right? Carbon in plants being trapped in the ground. And then when we release you know, millions of years of carbon buildup into the cycle again all at one time. It imbalances the cycle and it creates many of the problems we're seeing now. And uh, then the the nitrogen cycle. This one's pretty complex. We won't go into great detail. Uh, you can save some of it to high school, but um, around the outside of this, you'll see that it's mostly atmosphere having to do with bacteria and then back to the atmosphere again and then the inner cycle has to do with um, you know these nitrogen bacteria uh, fixing bacteria offering up nitrogen or making it available to plants and then plants being consumed by consumers or animals and then in the end both of those dying and decaying and being released back as decomposers so uh, if you kind of follow this around you know the left side from atmospheric nitrogen people often forget that the atmosphere is you know over 75 percent nitrogen so you're really familiar with nitrogen whether you know it or not but this nitrogen comes in contact with the soil uh, and then these bacteria can fix it directly making available to plants these nodules and these plants if you ever run across clover i encourage you to pull it out of the ground look for the little bumps um, these are nitrogen fixing uh, locations um, other other nitrogen that's left in the soil um, is fixed into ammonium. You're probably familiar with ammonia in cleaning products, that stinky stuff. Well, that ammonium um, can be fixed into by other bacteria, turned into nitrites, which can then be turned into nitrates. Nitrates we see in our fertilizers. Um, we can create it synthetically. And then these nitrates are available to plants as well. Um, decomposers can then uh, decompose things and, and put ammonium back in the cycle. And then some denitrifying bacteria can then release nitrogen back into the atmosphere. So those are the, th the three main uh, matter cycles we'll talk about. Um, again, there's others, but um, you know we'll stick to the basics for now.